Hey! Today we're going to examine some of the structure behind WordPress themes and more specifically behind WordPress themes created with Artisteer. The reason I specify that is that all WordPress themes follow the same general structure but Artisteer themes have their own kind of special way of laying out content that not every other theme has. So if you use Artisteer this will be extremely relevant. If you don't it'll be only fundamentally relevant, if that makes sense. Uh, yesterday, technically two days ago, because I missed yesterday's video, sorry, um, I kind of laid out the fundamentals behind how WordPress themes work, just so that you have that knowledge. So if you haven't seen that, go uh, click the link above this video, slash below the video, wherever it is, and go download that uh, free infographic. Otherwise, let's get rolling. So, Within my WordPress dashboard, if I go under Appearance and then click Editor, that's how I can actually edit the theme files of my active theme. And right now, I'm on my Zach Swinehart website, which once it loads, I'll show you which one that is. Here we go. So the basic things that we need to be looking out for is a area up here that shows this link and this link something that has this making the techie stuff simple text, a menu area, body area, and a footer. These are kind of big structural elements that we see. And the way that WordPress themes work is that each page template has its own file. And so a good example of that, if I just edit any random page in my website, over here on the right, see where it says default template? If I click that drop down, we see all these different pages that I have. We have these five different page templates. So if I go into my back end, here's one that says sales page template, sales page two, that sort of thing. Um, I'm gonna just look for the default one, which every single WordPress site has, and that's page.php. So I'm gonna click that. And this is the one that I'm using currently, the one that's a default template. So when I pull up this template, we can see it's actually a very small amount of code. I can't even scroll down in mine. If you're not using an artist ear theme, you might see a lot more code. Uh, but basically, if I look over here at all these different theme files, I'm going to look for one called header.php. Boom, right there. So I'm going to open that in the new tab just to show you what's happening. So look at that. That is a lot more code that corresponds to our site. And incidentally, this is where you're going to get to learn your first amount of editing. And the way PHP sites work, for the most part, is that you, you get to include other files when you want to. And so with an HTML site, for example, let's say you have a horizontal nav menu, and later you want to add a new link. Well, you have to go into every single page on your site and add that link to the nav. But with PHP, what's so nice about the including is that you can include a centralized file that you only change that one file and it updates everywhere that includes it. And so with a header, for example, on WordPress sites, every page on your site is going to be having the same head stuff for the most part. Like it's declaring the same uh, blog name, you know, it's declaring the same scripts. CSS, all that stuff. So WordPress themes often use a shared header. Sometimes they don't, and it's not 100% necessary. You know, part of the challenge with today's tutorial is not telling you too much about PHP and more getting around just how you can understand WordPress theme structure. So I'm not going to give you much more PHP. I just wanted to give you that fundamental knowledge. So getting back to it, just to recap, this is our page template. We see right here it's looking for the header which is this file over here called header. Right here it's looking for the sidebar that is on the top. And then this whole thing is what's called the post loop. Now with newer artist your themes like the one I'm using, it's in my opinion a little bit more difficult to understand than it was in the past. In the past, it displayed a lot of HTML tags wrapped around it and stuff, whereas now it just says get the template part that is the content of the page. So basically we have our page template, but then there's actually like a content definition somewhere else. Which if you look over here, there's this thing called content-page. So if I open that one up, we look in here, we see that it's doing a function. 
because it has these parentheses for the theme post wrapper. And it's basically getting the content, and then this is some custom code that I wrote. But for the most part, it's just getting the content. Uh, this is something that you're not going to really edit because it's just kind of confusing and a pain, but you, you at least know that that's what's happening. Getting back to it. After we find uh, all of the posts, then it's getting the bottom sidebar, and then after that, it's getting the footer. The main thing that I wanted to show you is this get header area, because this is where you might actually want to make some changes of your own. So let me close everything since I have all these tabs open and just reopen the header. And I'm also going to open up my live site to show you how things correspond. So if I right click up on my Zach Swinehart link, and inspect the code, I see that there's this Zach main div which contains everything. And then there's this Zach header inner which contains just my name. Then below it we have a Zach nav and then as we go further down, we have this sheet, and it looks like there's a Zach header that has both this text and my nav menu. Now all I'm doing right now is inspecting the code. If uh, this is kind of confusing for you, be sure to check out my free CSS crash course where I walk you through how to inspect code. But basically the reason I'm doing this right now is to identify where things are and see if I can edit them. So a good one that is in pretty much every artist your theme would be this header that is usually called art-header. For why it's called Zach-header. So if we go here into our header.php, I just want to scroll through it and look for that. Here we go. We see Zach main. Remember seeing that? Then we see Z header inner. We see ZachSweiner.com, Zach and after effects. So you see all this stuff is starting to make sense and correspond and stuff. So if I wanted to, I can actually just change this text. See where it says making the techie stuff simple? I could change that to simpler, because apparently I don't quite make it simple, but I at least make it simpler than it would be otherwise, or something. And we see that that has updated it on my live site, since every page on the site is pulling in this header file. And so I'm not suggesting that you need to understand how all this PHP works. The real, like, the really the only thing I, I really want you to understand is that you can go into this header PHP file and look for familiar code, because that's really all it comes down to. Uh, so let me show you a great example of that. If I look over here, so this is a background image, so it's not as helpful, but basically I see that it's in this Zach headshot div. And whenever you add a logo, in an artist your theme, it's going to be added to the the art shapes div. And one question people often ask me is how to link a logo to something. Because by default, artist year embeds logos that are not wrapped in links. And so what I would have to do if I wanted to do that is uh, the Zach headshot div, since it has a background image, I'm gonna right click on that and just go open link a new tab. So I'm literally at my image right now. And I'm going to copy this whole URL. Now if I go to my header.php and look for that, here we go, Zach Headshot. It's just an empty div right now. So if I were to type a paragraph in there and say hi, that would overlap my face, presumably. So see how now that the site's refreshed, it says hi right here? That's because there's literally this box, this div container right here that is holding this as a background image. So if instead of having that say hi, I instead do an anchor tag. So I do like A and then href is to Google. And then image source equals, and then I paste in that image URL that I copied. And then close that anchor tag. Now if I refresh it, it'll look the exact same, but now this is here as a foreground image. See how I can drag it around? So if I click it, it takes me to Google. So that's a good example of some of the stuff you can do when you're editing your theme and whatnot. 
I don't personally want this link here, so I'm going to delete it. But the biggest thing that I can impart to you is just stay away from the PHP code and uh, make sure you have your theme backed up before you go around messing with it. That way, if you break something, all you have to do is re-upload it. Uh, for the most part, you can just make your fixes here. Like you change something here, it looks bad, you just undo it. So you could even, before editing your header file, for example, you could select all of this and paste it into Notepad. Then go do your edits. If you mess something up, you copy it from Notepad and paste it back in here so you're using your backed up version, that sort of thing. So best of luck. Remember, the way every WordPress site works is that there's a header that uses a lot of code or a little code. Sometimes there's only like the HTML head tag and then an opening body tag. Other times headers are like they are for this site where it actually opens up the body tag, it, it declares all of these different things in the head, it declares a nav, and then it goes so far as to open up the HTML tag for the actual content area, where some headers are just very simplified. So you have your header, then you have your body area, then you have your footer. Simple as that. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Leave comments if you have questions or if you enjoyed it. And be sure to visit Artist Ear Tutorial to learn more about Artist Ear and Zach Swinehart to learn more about web development. Sexwinehart.com, that is. Thanks.